to take respirations on a resident. There are no supplies needed. I'm just going to be watching her breathe. So I'm going to knock on her door and wash my hands. Hi, Annie. I'm here to check some of your vitals. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to provide for privacy. So watching respirations is the only thing we don't explain to the resident. When you say, I'm going to watch your respirations, sometimes they hold their breath or they change their respirations or they try to talk. So I'm going to appear as though I'm taking her pulse, but I'm going to watch her respirations. And it's a good thing to look at the person and see where you can see their body moving. Sometimes it's the chest, sometimes it's their back, sometimes it's their stomach. So I'll put my hand here like I'm going to take her pulse. I would use my watch with either the sweep second hand or I can use a clock on a wall with the analog dial. Okay, so I will look at the clock for when I start. I'm gonna count the respirations for one minute if they are regular. When she breathes in and exhales, that's one respiration. So an up and down of the chest would be one respiration. So I'll watch her for a minute Normal respirations for an adult are anywhere from 12 to 22 respirations per minute. So yours are at 14, so you're breathing well. Any difficulties or pain? No. Okay. Anything else I can get for you? No. Okay, I see you have your call light there. Your bed is lowered and locked. I'm gonna wash my hands again and open the curtain. And then I would document her respirations and report anything abnormal to the nurse.